Welcome to another $4 million strategy, the best four minutes of business on concepts, strategies, and tactics you could apply in your business today. We're with Don Lindsay, the CEO of Precision Machine Manufacturing. I consider Don a friend, and he also has great insight. Don, you've gone through significant change as you've turned around Precision Machine and doubled the value of the company and then some. One of the things I've been most impressed with is not only your hiring skills, but your ability to make changes terminate when you've needed to. What are some things that our audience should do in hiring and something they should do when they know they have they don't have the right person on the team? Thanks, Carl. Thanks for having me. First and foremost, I hire character. Sure, sure when we're searching for people, they have to have a certain skill set, certain knowledge, certain experience, right? And that's all well and good, all things being equal. I'm looking for somebody with the right character skills right? Those are the things that really are the foundational building blocks that make up a person. If they have those things, then we'll dig into the skills and the experience and the knowledge and then go from there. On the other side of it, having to make a decision and letting somebody go, that's a tough one. It's always tough. Too often I have found that leaders make the decision to bring somebody on, They've realized they made a bad decision, but they're having a hard time coming to terms with that. And that's a tough one. We as leaders make mistakes all the time. I call it a gut check. No matter what you do, generally, that person is not going to get better. But the main question you have to ask yourself, is it a training issue or is it character flaw? If it's a training issue, where can we get them the training and the knowledge they need to get them to the level of performance we need to have? If it's a character flaw, they are what they are. You can train them all day long. You can be as patient. They are not going to change. And you have to determine whether you can live with that or not. Those are the decisions you have to make. And if it's a character flaw, the sooner you can make that decision, the better. Every one of my people that have ever left my company know that Don Lindsay and his team has done everything within our power to help them be successful here. So when they left, there's no animosity. It just wasn't a good fit. Okay. So character is a, one of those judgment calls and character different by different organizations. What is something that they can do to help make sure they are finding the right fit for their organization from their own character or core value perspective? The people come in are ready for those standard interview questions. I put those things aside and I just say, tell me about you. Tell me where you come from. Tell me what you've been doing. Tell me what's important to you. Tell me about your priorities. Tell me about the things that motivate you. And through that process, people begin to reveal their personal lives to you. And then you find out the little things about their character that are of value. And it gives you an opportunity to dig into those things. If you don't find out about that, then you just stay at the high level interview questions, which most people are very experienced in answering. And so you get this canned answer and response. At the end of it, once I get to the root of it, then we know whether we have a good fit or not. Thank you so much for being a part of $4 million strategies. Thank you. It's been my pleasure.